it makes sense if those Spanish are feeding right off these fenders like this that those stud fish are going to be right there with them, you know? Oh man, we just got smoked right here and he let it go. Oh, he's, he's back on it. He's back on it. God, he's, he's big. He's big. I got to pull him out. Oh, I got to pull him out. He's a big one. Come on, baby. Come on. I got the drag locked, guys. It's Phew, man, it is some kind of early out here this morning. I got here before daylight once again, and I did lie to you. As I said last video, that I would not be in my boat again for like three weeks. Well, the mechanic called, said they're waiting on a part, and so we will be back in my boat for one more day. After that, we're gonna have like three weeks where we're just gonna do land-based type stuff. Per your recommendations, we are gonna do the top three things that you recommended. Number one being travel the state of Florida and uh, hit some jetties for snook and tar. Tarpon. Number two was fish with Bama Beach Bum. Definitely going to do that if he ever invites me. Um, <clears throat> number three, we are going to kayak fish. And so maybe I'll borrow one from Yak Motley since uh, we know he probably won't be using it. Ugh. You know, it just dawned on me. We haven't even given this boat a name yet. We've been through so much together. Comment below what you think the name of this boat should be in the winter. That's gonna be that's gonna be the boat. Let's rock and roll, guys. And today's video is sponsored by Good Old Mysterious Tackle Box. Now, if you're not familiar with Mystery Tackle Box, they are a subscription-based box that will show up at your doorstep every single month. Pretty good bargain. You get like $30, $40 worth of lures, and you're only paying somewhere around 10 bucks a month. All my, uh, their information will be linked in my description below for you to go check out. While we're heading to our first spot, we're gonna see what we've got inside the old mystery tackle box today. I've got a brand new box that just came in the mail. First lure we've got in that mystery tackle box is a Yozuri. It looks like a topwater plug. It says floating. I've never used this one before, but I have seen this one. It's like a $10 lure right here. This may actually be the one I start with if we get out here early enough. I'd, I would like to throw a topwater plug. If this is a topwater plug, I think it's a topwater plug. Another one's like a diamond jig we can throw off the beach. This is something I'll take with me when we go to South Florida. Oh, my uh, lens is fogging up once again. I'll take that diamond jig to South Florida. Or if I go over and fish with beach bum and need a, like some sort of a jig to throw it Spanish from the beach and make long casts, this jig right here is perfect for them. I don't know if y'all can see that. Then I got three different bags of soft plastics. I got flukes. Then I got a Z-Man paddler. These are just like a swim bait right here. These are pretty good. And then I'm not real sure what this is. Ah, this is another little swim bait right here. So there's all kind of goodies in there and that's not it. I still have other lures to go. Well, we are starting <clears throat> with the old topwater plug here. So we're going to chunk her out and just see if we can jiggle us up one somewhere. Ugh, it's early morning. Gosh, I can chunk this thing a long way. Heck yeah, dude. This is just a little walk the dog action here. Give me a little early morning topwater explosion, why don't you? That'd be kind of cool. Oh yeah, she looks good. She looks real good on top. Come on, baby. Oh, there's a tarpon. There's a tarpon. Guys, there's a tarpon. He just blew up right here. Oh, there's something behind my bait too. That tarpon just rolled right here on top of me. Good gracious. Please blow up on my topwater plug. They're not eating this topwater plug. I gotta change, guys. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. I'm going suspending bait because I made like 25 casts with that topwater plug and had no bites. And so a lot of times when that happens, they're just not being overly aggressive. And so I need a suspending bait. Oh, there he is, there's a fish. There's a fish, all right. First fish on, boys. What are we, what are we working with here? Oh, it's a speckled trout. That kind of caught me by surprise. All right. Oh, whoo, he came off right of the boat. He almost slung the old Meridine right in my face. Any fish is a good fish, boys. There he goes. You know, that's a, that's a lesson there. That was a really good looking topwater lure that I was throwing this morning. But the problem was the fish just are not very aggressive in here today. You can tell. And so anytime that happens, immediately switch to a suspending bait and they'll be a little more uh, aggressive on that suspending bait. Well, that didn't go as planned. There are literally no more fish back here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to catch some big baits and see if we can move on to plan number two. There's fish blowing up in front of the boat here as I'm leaving the daggum by you. Let me see what they are. Ooh, he's on it. Oh, oh, good gracious, I'm on. There he is. Oh, it's skipjack. There's the skipjacks that I've been missing. 
that I know and love. I was wondering, I was like, man, I haven't caught a skipjack. This is a big one too. I haven't caught a skipjack all day. And there she blows, boys. There she blows. Well, I got some cut bait if I need it. All right, there's one skipjack and he's completely got blood over the entire boat. The whole boat is complete blood now. Thank you for that. I don't even know if there's any left here. Oh yeah, they're, oh yep, they're here. Good gracious, yep, more, they're just everywhere right here. That's okay, we'll get us some cut bait. Good gracious, gravy bugs. This one's gonna get the boat nasty as well. My goodness, I have never in my life it's like a massacre in here, man. I'm kind of getting, a, I'm kind of formulating a plan though here. As I'm doing this, I better retie. He's going, it's coming off if I don't. I right, better retie. You could take kids in here to do, oh, that was not a skip. There is no way that's a skip. Oh yeah, it was. Just kidding. I am all, I'm wrong. Oh my goodness, look at him. I thought it was a bigger fish than that, but it's not. It's just a lady fish. There he is. Man, look at the ladies. Woo! <laughs> They're getting some air, dog. Had to make a little pit stop because this boat is disgusting. So I'm kind of on a little adventure across the bay here. I don't really know where I'm going or what I'm doing, but I can only go in idle speed. And so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm idling across the bay and I would love to make it out to the big bridge, but if I can't, then I'll just stop in the middle of the bay and see if we can put down one of those big lady fish and catch like a big shark or something, but who knows. Well, we have made it to the bridge. This took me like an hour to get here, going like four miles an hour, but we made it. When I'm pulling up here, guys, there's also fish hitting the top of the surface. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Look at there, right when I'm pulling up here, there was fish hitting the top of the surface. I don't think they're very big, but I got smashed. Oh, big Spanish. Look at here. Oh, he came off, man. That was a stud Spanish mackerel goodness oh he's back on it again there he is I'm on again dude there's Spanish all over the place in here nice ones too man how about that that was a surprise they're still popping the surface oh look at there big Spanish all right look at that one right there guys that is a nice fish man good to see these guys in here I'm gonna keep him as well if we don't catch anything, we may take him home and eat them. Let's see if that was the only one. I gotta make one more cast for these guys. There was a lot of them here. Oh yeah, they're still busting the surface over here. That's good to know. Ah, uh, my lure's messed up. Oh, there they are. They're busting the surface, man. I need to get out of glass minnow. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. Come on. He's definitely, oh, he's on it. Oh, missed him. This is so fun, dude. Oh, that's a big fish there. I don't think that was a Spanish. He's on it. Something, oh, there he is. Fish on, baby. Got him. Yes, sir, he rolled up on it and we smashed, we got him. What is it, what is it? Oh, another nice Spanish. Look at there, dude. Sick. God, I've just got fish just flopping all over the back of the boat right here. Flippity, flop, flop, flippity, flop, flop. All right, we're going big hunk of lady fish right here first. All right, that's all we're doing. Big hunk of lady fish. I may use a head of a ladyfish in a minute. Just get real crazy and see if I could catch like a absolute beast. I want to put a fish in the boat first and I think I can do that with a cut piece. 
better than I can a giant piece, but we'll see. Let's, let's just see what we're working with here. Right here. Come on. All right, there she goes. We're going to put down the small rod as well. That way we give us gives us multiple opportunities here. Tangled around the tip. What? Professional fisherman alert. All right, there she is. We got two rods up. Now it's just a waiting game. All right, we've got both rods set out. We're going to sit back. We're going to relax and see if they can get hammered. While I'm waiting on a big old bite, I'm going to make a few casts back here because there are still fish busting the top of the surface. There he is. Oh, there he is. I'm on. I'm on. Oh, I'm on. <laughs> As soon as I let it sink, man, it was like game on. He's swimming at me like super fast. Oh yeah, nice Spanish there, guys. Look at there. Come here, you little El Senor. Did y'all get that joke? Look at there, pretty little Spanish mackerel. This one got hit again, boys. Let's see if he's on there. Big, big one got hit. Oh yeah, he's on there. That's a good one. There we go. There we go. There we go, baby. I don't know what we got. It's fighting weird. But he on there, he ate that big piece of bait. God, okay, I think this is a heavy fish, man. I'm not sure what it is, but he's heavy. Maybe a shark, dude. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Okay. Okay. What are we working with? Oh, dude, look, it's a big jack. I was not expecting that, man. A big jack. Talk about a multi-species morning here. Look at that. Big cut bait. And we got a big jack Chevrolet here. The cut bait catching jacks. How about that? Here's a little jack right here. Those are fun size jacks, dude. Those, those are good little fighters. He came up and smashed the cut bait and I'm gonna release him real quick. Guys, I'm gonna put on this giant headpiece right here and uh, we're gonna see what we can catch on it. What do y'all think? Big headpiece going out right here, boys. What's so cool about these bridges is you just never know what you're gonna get. There's so many different species. I'm really the only species I haven't caught out here that I was expecting to catch are big bull reds, but you know, they may start biting any minute. We've got two rods out the back right here. One, two, both of them are sitting there just chilling. I moved it out a little further just to see if the big fish are kind of hanging around where these Spanish are. So there's just a ton of Spanish. And so I'm gonna see if there's any Spanish right here. I've been seeing them jump all morning. I'm getting bit right here on the oh yeah good god guys i just got smashed i just got oh my god he came off dang it that was a monster absolute monster guys right where i thought they were going to be too we finally hung the monster he was sitting out there right by them spanish and i'm going to just see if that was a fluke or if there's another one there that was an absolute giant fish right there boys it makes sense if those Spanish are feeding right off these fenders like this, that those stud fish are gonna be right there with them, you know? Oh man, we just got smoked right here and he let it go. Oh, he's, he's back on it, he's back on it. God, he's, he's big, he's big, I gotta pull him out. Oh, I gotta pull him out, he's a big one. Come on, baby, come on. I got the drag locked, guys. This is a good opportunity for a drag lesson since everybody's talking about it. Drag is locked, which means I need it locked to pull him away from that structure right there. And now that I got him out, we're going to back off the drag because we don't want to uh, pull a hook or, I mean, straighten a hook, pull a hook, or break the line. All right, we got him out of the structure. Now we're backing off the drag. All right, drag lesson 101. We, that's why I mess with my drag constantly because of what I'm doing. All right, we got him, boys. This is a big fish right here. I see him out there on top. That, my friends, is a big old. Oh my God, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. How about this for a bridge monster, boys? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a bull red. 
And I just caught a monster snapper at this bridge right here. Check that out, guys. That is a nice freaking snapper for this bridge right here. And we just pulled him out of the freaking three mile bridge. How about that? She finned the mess out of me too. But it's red snapper season in the state of Florida. So I'm gonna pay back for her finning me. She's going in the frying pan. Well, we made it back to the bayou in a good old fashioned one hour's time. Seeing how I had only, could only go four miles an hour, maybe, maybe six with the wind pushing me. So, but hey, we made it back and had a good day, man. I'm not upset about that. Like idling across the bay to do what I just did. Like I wasn't even expecting to be able to get out today. Well guys, as always, I appreciate you watching that video. If you haven't already, shoot me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any fishing questions, DM me on Instagram at anglerup underscore official. If you uh, haven't checked out my merch yet, go hit it up, link in the bayou, take a picture with it. If you purchase it, I'll put you in my Instagram story. Uh, well, let's see if there's anything else. Looking to buy or sell a house in the state of Florida. Email me in, uh, in the description and I'll do my very best to find you, find you guys a house. So other than that, I uh, hope each and every one of you have a great week.